this is a test paper on sequences and series. Now it is divided into three parts. We'll have communication questions, application problems, and thinking and application problems. Knowledge based questions I have already taken under headings with multiple choice questions and quiz. So uh, I will suggest that if you have not gone through those multiple choice questions and the quiz, then it is better that you go through those videos first and then take this test. I haven't really included many knowledge based questions here. All those questions are already included in the quiz and multiple choice questions. Okay. Now here is question one on communication. Write a sequence with at least four terms, which is neither arithmetic nor geometric. Then describe the sequence. Okay. Now try to write down your answers. Stop the video. And then once you've written your answer, then you can see my solution. Okay. Now here we can have many varieties of sequences which are not arithmetic nor are geometric. For example, if I write something like this, one, two, four, seven, like what I'm trying to do here is for every next term, first I'm adding one, do you see? And then I add two, and then I'm adding three, and then I'll add four. So like this, correct? So if I do that, I do get a pattern here. That is, adding one more each time. Well, this is not an arithmetic sequence, since we are not adding the same number, same, same number all the time, right? As you can see, difference between 2 and 1 is 1, difference between 4 and 2 is 2. So difference is not constant. If the difference between successive terms or consecutive terms is not same, then it is not an arithmetic sequence. Correct? So this sequence is not arithmetic. How about geometry? For a geometric sequence, ratio of successive terms should be constant. What I'm trying to say is 2 over 1 should be equal to 4 over 2, which is 2 in these two cases, but 7 over 4 is not 2 times. Do you see? So this number, first term is two times, second is also two times the previous one. But the third one is not two times the previous one, correct? So it fails to be a geometric sequence, correct? So this is one of the examples. Like this, what you can do is, you can multiply by increasing numbers each time. So you can have one and then you can multiply by two, then you can multiply by three, you can multiply by four. Like that, you can go on and make create your own sequence. I will rather take another sequence which will be like x square. For example, I can write here 1, right? And then I'll write, so this is 1 square, and then I'll write 2 square, which is 4, and 3 square, which is 9, 4 square, which is 16, correct? So I get another sequence where every term is square of the term number. Right? It is a pro proper sequence which we can define, right? But it is not a geometric sequence, nor is it an arithmetic sequence. Do you understand? So these are some of the examples which you can try. Thank you.